In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can find content and how you can post content really, really easily and really quickly so that you can get all your content done in one kind of bulk hit using a really fantastic tool that I've found and schedule it all up, post it to your viral Facebook page and your viral uh, website, um, which if you don't already have them, please check out some of the previous videos uh, in this playlist. Um, yeah, but let's get started. Let's find some content and let's get going. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. Uh, thanks for watching. The first thing I want to say is, uh, sorry for the delay on this video. Um, I promised this a little while ago when I was creating the other viral uh, website, Facebook sort of videos. And I said, there's going to be a video on how you can create your content really easily and quickly. And then uh, I never kind of posted this video. There's been a bit of a delay. So it's here now. Um, I hope it's worth it. But yeah, in this video, what we're going to be doing is uh, finding content from around the internet from other Facebook pages and from uh, other YouTube channels um, that are going to be a good fit for our own viral website and our own viral uh, Facebook page. We're then going to be um, adding our own comments to that Facebook and YouTube stuff that we find to make it our own. And then we're going to kind of post it to our WordPress blog and our Facebook page. And I'm going to kind of do it in an automated way so that we can schedule up loads of content uh, for the week and kind of do it all in one hit. Now, the tool I'm going to be using um, is a premium tool. It's called Postradamus, and um, there is a small uh, fee, monthly fee on it, um, but there's also a money back guarantee, so you can try it out for free. Uh, basically, if you don't like it, you get your money back. I've also got a coupon for it, which gives you 25% off the uh, the monthly fees, so uh, that's great. But yeah, the reason why I'm going to recommend this tool is that it kind of takes a lot of the legwork out of running your viral site. So it's um, very easy to find content from across Facebook and YouTube and Twitter and anywhere else you can think of pretty much. Uh, and then once you've found that content, it's very easy to edit it, make it your own, and then schedule it up and get it posted to your uh, your website, your Facebook page, your Twitter, and any other social media accounts, whatever that you've got. So you can do it all in one place and, uh, and work from there. Now, the good thing about using a tool like this is it allows you to do your content work uh, in kind of one hit, um, because uh, a lot of people say to me, oh, I can't be bothered creating content every day or finding content every day and then posting it. And, you know, I just don't have the time. Uh, but using a tool like this, uh, it means that you can kind of do it in one hit. So maybe on a Monday morning or Friday afternoon or whatever you want, you can sit down and go, right, I'm going to just spend an hour and do my content and uh, work away at it and give it that hour. And then you've got, you know, your week or your month's worth of content already, uh, already scheduled up, ready to go. And you just kind of have to set it and forget it. So that's why I'm going to recommend this tool. And uh, that's why I think you should use it too. Um, and well, let's get started. Now remember, if you get stuck at any point uh, in this video, then just uh, drop me a question below uh, or send me an email and I'll help you out. So uh, yeah, let's crack on. Okay, so I'm over at Postradamus, which is a great name for a social media tool. And um, yeah, I've been using this tool just a little bit recently, but I can see the potential in it and I wanna you know, fire it up during this video now and go through it with you. Uh, I don't wanna do too much kind of with that without the camera rolling. I wanna show you setting it all up, posting, and me just finding my way around it so I can show you exactly how it works. But from what I've seen, I've had a little play. This tool is the one. Um, so uh, yeah, we're gonna have some great fun with this, getting some content and posting it to our viral site. Now I have got a voucher code for you um, when you sign up. Um, if you use the code WP Eagle, quite easy to remember. So uh, you just go through here, click Get Instant Access. And then you can choose your um, plan. You're probably going to need the Elite plan if you've got more than one social media profile. So if you've got like a Twitter and a Facebook and all that sort of stuff, and you want to post all of them in one hit, then yeah, the Elite's going to be for you. Now I've got a code, as I say. Um, you get the first month for a dollar anyway. But then going forward, if you use my code, which is, I say, WP Eagle, and then apply that, you get 975 off every month. So basically 25% off, um, I think, yeah, 25% off. So that's, uh, yeah, going to save you a few quid. That is an affiliate coupon. So again, um, I'll get a small commission if you use that. But yeah, thanks very much if you can. And if you do, uh, really appreciate it. But anyway, you get signed up and let me get signed in and let's have a look at the uh, the dashboard. So yeah, I'm gonna sign with my account. This is what you see once you've signed up and you're signed in. Uh, great looking dashboard, quite easy to use. And um, yeah, what we'll do now is start getting some content and we'll hook up our WordPress site and Facebook and all that sort of stuff and then start scheduling some content to go out 
um, as we go forward. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is just make sure that everything's connected. So your Facebook page, your website, all that sort of stuff so that we can then automatically post content to those places. And to do that, let's go into settings. So in settings, we go to connections. And you've got a few things here that you can hook up. Um, Facebook is actually up in the export one, so don't worry too much about it. But, but for now, I'm gonna hook up my WordPress. Um, so let's click on WordPress. Then all you need to do is actually enter your WordPress login details. So put my username in. And then put the um, website URL in, which of course is uh, labradorfeed.com. So you might need a HTTP on that. Click update. Needs a slash on the end, I think. Yay. Okay, so that's connected. Okay, so now we're connected. The next thing we uh, are gonna wanna set up is some um, schedules. So if we click down here on schedules, then if we click on new schedule, and just call it the master schedule or whatever you'd like to call it really. And here we can say when we want to post. So I'm going to go for, well, every day, that's fine. Um, we haven't got any post types. We can come to that later. Uh, well, actually, we don't need to, I can tell you what it is now. What you can do is if there's certain posts that you only want to go on to certain days, you can create a post type um, and then apply that to them. Uh, you'll see where to apply it as we go through the video. But I'm not going to do that for right now. But there may be a reason why, you know, you've got certain posts that you only want to go out on a Saturday or whatever. But probably not. So for now, we'll leave it as now. So... There's one there at 250, which is fine. And obviously you can add as many times as you want. We should probably have one in the morning, shouldn't we? Let's go for um, 10, 9.52, perfect. So there we go, and obviously if we click through the different days, they're all there because we selected all day. So I think three a day is probably plenty. So that's our schedule set up. The next thing, go back into settings, is our post templates. And the reason why we need to set these up, I've already set these two up now, actually. Um, I set them up previously, um, but I'll show you how to do that. Um, this allows us to kind of lay out the content. So, uh, you know, if you've got images and videos and all that sort of stuff, um, especially when you're posting to WordPress, you want to make sure that the image is obviously uh, added to the post and the, the video, etc. So I've created one for YouTube and Facebook, and you'd click on new post template. I'll click edit on these, and then you can see what I've added. So I gave it a name, um, YouTube videos, quite straightforward. Then down here, I've added some uh, tokens, they're called on this software. But basically, yeah, they're like wild cards. Um, so there's all sorts of different ones down here. It tells you what they are. So that's the text that I'm going to add to the post. So, you know, when I find a post, I might add my little comment. So that's going to appear there. And then the embed code is the video. So it's going to then put the video below my bit of text. Quite straightforward. Um, and then obviously you'd click update. I'll just show you the Facebook one. Now do check out Postradamus help because there's a lot more information on this. But yeah, for Facebook, so um, I've, if I click on edit, sorry, I, I didn't mention the other one. There's a source. So the last one I selected YouTube as a source. This one I selected Facebook as the source. You give it a name and then here's the template again. So it's the text and then it's the image um, with a little bit of um, CSS on it. So I'll, I'll add these bits of code um, to the uh, video description below. So if you just want to copy and paste, then you're done. Okay, so just to be clear, um, the reason why we have these um, templates is for WordPress, um, so that when you're posting stuff, it's all laid out nicely. Um, they're not that important uh, when you're posting to Facebook. But uh, yeah, it'll become clear when we start posting our content. So uh, with these all done, the final thing in terms of settings you need to do is go back into settings and go to general and just make sure that you've set all your time zone uh, like I have in here. So um, that the times that you set on the content uh, match where you are in the world, otherwise it will become a bit confusing. So yeah, do that, click update, uh, and now we're off to create some lists, and then we're about ready to start finding some content. Okay, so before we start searching for content, we need to create a couple of lists, and basically the lists are where you put the content that you found, um, get it ready you know, to publish and all that sort of stuff. So. 
What I recommend is you create different lists um, for different platforms. So have a list for Facebook, have a list for WordPress. And the reason I say that is because that obviously these different platforms and probably Twitter as well, they're different in the way they format posts. So um, for example, on WordPress, you need to insert the image into the body with that link thing that we set up in the template. And on Facebook, you can't do that. So that's why I recommend you have two different lists. So let's call this one Facebook posts, um, 1st of June. Okay. And then I'm gonna go back into lists and create another new list and call this one WordPress 1st of June. It'll become clear in a second why I'm doing this. Okay, so now we can go over to content and go to find on the web. Obviously we're a viral site, so um, generally we're gonna be finding stuff that's already out there and kind of commenting and sharing. But if you've got stuff on your computer, you can click find on computer. So let's look on Facebook first. So you can get stuff off your page, which or pages you have, which is probably not what you want to do. You want to go to other pages. I'm going to go search for Labrador Funny. And that top one looks good. Let's go for that. I want photos. Um, that's all good by the page owner, I generally go for that rather than fan posts because it's often better quality. And click search and it's gonna bring back all of their stuff from their Facebook page that I can now decide um, to share. Okay, so you got your thing up here where you can add to lists. Um, so f the first thing I'm gonna do is um, stuff for the Facebook page. So um, let me just minimize that so I can see what I'm doing. I'm just gonna, I'm only gonna do a couple right now, but obviously when you're doing it, you probably queue up loads so that you're kind of done. Um, let me just untick that, because I did a little test a minute ago. Um, so it may not show content that I've already done. So I'm just gonna, there was some funnier stuff. Um, but like all these things, when I make a video, I had to do a little edit. I had to do a little edit um, because um, didn't quite go to plan so <laughs> thus uh, this is the hopefully the final cut and um, it's gonna work fine anyway I'm rambling on so yeah it's, these are the ones that I picked before and I didn't actually post them because it didn't quite go to plan I'm just gonna minimize that and I'm gonna pick a few of these posts uh, I like that one and the slide one I think I'm just gonna go for free there we go. So I've got those selected. If I go back up and click on that plus. So, so these are gonna be for the Facebook page. So let's choose the list Facebook posts. And I'm not gonna apply the template. The template, as I said earlier, is really for your WordPress um, posts. So I'm not gonna apply it to this one. And let's click add free to list. So it's just gonna do that for me. That's great. Um, but I'm also gonna add the same ones to WordPress, might as well, so let's just select them again. Select that one, was it that one, and uh, this one. It kind of shows you the likes and stuff as well, so you can get an idea of how popular. Bear in mind, this page has only got a few thousand likes, so these numbers are quite good. So these ones I am gonna to add to the uh, WordPress, and then I'm gonna click apply the template that we set up earlier so that it adds the image and all that sign of stuff nicely. So I'm gonna add those free to the list. Okay, so we've done that. Um, let's do YouTube as well while we're in here. So if I just go to YouTube, I'm just gonna add the one uh, YouTube video for now. But again, obviously you'll probably queue up loads of stuff, um, but I don't want this video to drag on too long. Um, so let's just find something that looks quite amusing. Oh yeah, kitten versus lab fight, perfect, we'll have that. So I'm gonna post this one to Facebook. Um, save the link because it's got a link to YouTube. 
and click add to list. I'm keeping the template unticked because uh, again, it's going to Facebook, but I'm going to add it. Uh, we just untick, don't show the content I've already saved. There it is. Ooh, where's it gone? I just saw it. Did you see it? There it is. So I'm going to select that. Then this one I'm going to add to the WordPress and apply the template YouTube videos. So now we just need to go into our list and just tidy um, up our content. So I'm going to go to lists and not ready. So let's do WordPress first. Just click on the eyeball. So um, what we can do is we can apply um, our schedule that we set up earlier. And to do that, we'll go select all, and then you go to modify list scheduler. You can pick the master schedule, set the start date. Um, I'll set it as tomorrow, and then click the run scheduler. They're all scheduled up, which is good. And now we can go through and just edit up this text. So you can um, just kind of click there, or if you go, um, the problem with clicking there is you can't set the WordPress category, um, which is fine if they're all going into the same category, you can do that when you post. But if you want them in different categories, you're gonna to need to click on that pencil. So let's give it a name. And that's the page, uh, the post title that's gonna appear on WordPress. So I'm gonna get rid of this text, I want that. And add a little bit of text. Select your WordPress category, which I'll go for funny. So it's pulling in those categories from my WordPress website. And let's click update. Um, so that's that one. Then what I'm gonna do actually, uh, if I just go click on the edit again, I'm gonna schedule it to go up in five minutes so that we can um, see it happen. So that would be 3.40. There we go. Click update. Perfect, so um, yeah, I'm gonna go through and edit all these. Let's do this one. Obviously you can add as much text as you like. For WordPress, I would recommend obviously you entering as much as you possibly can because it would be good for your SEO. But right now, I'm just gonna put in a few words um, just to get this thing going. And then obviously choose my category. We'll go for cute. Okay, so I'll do a quick edit. You don't need to watch me do these last ones. And then we'll go through and do the Facebook ones. So see you in a sec. Okay, so I've edited my text and uh, added the WordPress categories. So let's go back to lists and um, no, actually, before we go and do the Facebook, let's schedule these so that this one that's going to go up in two minutes gets up there. So to send your posts over to WordPress, go to the export and then uh, WordPress. Choose the list, which is the one that's ready, which is the WordPress list, and then choose the category. So if you haven't set a category, this is where you can set that um, default category. I'm going to go for photos just in case. Click schedule. And then in two minutes, hopefully that first one will appear on WordPress. We'll go and have a look in a second. While we're waiting, uh, let's go back into our lists. And there's one that's not ready, which is the Facebook one. Let's click on the eyeball. So we need to schedule all these up. Let's go select all uh, again, and then modify list and the scheduler. Uh, start date tomorrow. I will force one to go up in a minute so we can see it, and then click run scheduler. And then we need to quickly obviously edit these again, add our comment, clean out this stuff. So I don't want any text. The name is not so uh, important on Facebook because it only puts the text and the image. A little bit of text. Uh, you don't need to set WordPress category obviously because this is just going up to Facebook. So for Facebook, you can actually just click here because as I say, you don't need to set categories and stuff. So.
there's that. Um, I'm just adding a little funny comment, whatever. Uh, the photos do most of the work, to be fair, on Facebook. Kitten versus lab fight. Spoiler. Just like that. So they're all done. Now, let me just go back to this one, actually, and schedule it to go up in five minutes. So uh, today. And that, 15.45, 3.45, perfect. So that's going to go in five minutes. So now we need to send these over to Facebook. So again, we're going to go into export and then go to Facebook. Choose your Facebook post list and then choose your page, uh, Labrador feed, and then click schedule to Facebook. So it's, they're all going to go off now and uh, we'll check again in four minutes, see if that one's gone up. But in the meantime, we can go over to Labrador Feed and see if the um, the one that was scheduled to go up at 20 to 4 has gone up. So we'll scroll down. There it is. Cuddles on the couch. And then if I click through, there it is. Added to WordPress. All done. Ready to go. So that's great. So... Um, Let's just wait a few more minutes and then we'll be able to see um, it go up to Facebook and then, you know, we're pretty much done and hopefully you'll be able to go away and um, use this tool to add loads and loads of content easily to your uh, website and your Facebook. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, so it's um, time and look, it's published, which is uh, great. It's all working fine. So the, the other posts are now going to go out tomorrow. Um, as per my schedule. So uh, that kind of brings us to the end of this video. I hope you found it useful. If you've got any questions, comments, anything like that, please leave them below. I do love hearing from you all. Um, good luck with your website, your viral uh, stuff. I hope it all works out for you. As you see, th this page is rocking and I did some tests actually earlier uh, as I was making this video and I've been posting bits and bobs and I'm still getting some good uh, reach and likes and, and whatnot. So um, yeah, I'm really pleased with my um, viral page and site so I'm going to be doing some more work on it and I'm probably going to be using this post a lot more and you know kind of unlocking a few more of its powerful features and when I do that I will obviously create some videos for you guys and share what I'm up to yeah but in the meantime good luck and I'll see you in the next video bye for now